Hey everyone, I'm Jamie Proviance, and today I'm making burgers. Now, typically I'm kind of a purist when it comes to burgers. I'm all about the meat and the bun, a little bit of seasoning, maybe some lettuce and tomato. To me, it's just a, a well-cooked burger, juicy, so that when you bite into it, you get those juices running down your arm. I'm in heaven. But there are certain days when I want to make the burger bigger and badder. I want to make it more of a meal. And today is one of those days. So I'm making a chili Colorado cheeseburger. This is an awesome party dish. If you're having friends over to watch the game or whatever, this is the burger you want to eat. The chili Colorado comes from the red chili. Um, and this actually is called a New Mexico chili. Uh, don't be confused by the multiple use of states. But it's a perfect chili for this because it's just the right level of heat. And all you need to do to get it ready is to snip off the stem end and then shake out most of the seeds. The more seeds you shake out, the less spicy it's going to be, right? Because most of the heat is in those seeds and also in the vein that connects or holds the seeds together. Then what you want to do is toast those chilies, okay? I've got about 10 or so chilies in here already. I'm just going to cut them up into little pieces and put them over some sort of fire. You can do this obviously right on the grill or you could do it on your stove top. But what happens when you toast them, well you know how when you toast a piece of bread it tastes better? Well same thing with chilies. Uh, the, the flavor comes out, some of the oils that have dried in there come back to life. It's already smelling aromatic, it's already smelling better. You want to do this for you know three, four, maybe five minutes. Don't burn the chilies, they shouldn't get black. If they get black, your sauce is going to be bitter. But they should turn color a little bit. The other ingredients for the sauce are uh, beef broth, a good quality beef broth. Don't skimp, get the, get the good stuff if you can. And then some really nice, you know, kind of Mexican flavors. I've got dried oregano and ground cumin and a little bit of clove, actually some whole clove. That's a little bit of a twist. I think you're going to like it. Then we've got some garlic and some tomato paste. Uh, the tomato paste is going to give it some body. The garlic is going to give it flavor. So I'm going to add these things in there now. And the idea is to bring this up to a, a boil um, and then actually cover it and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. And during that time, the chilies will soften. They'll turn into almost nothing to the point where when you put it, the whole thing into a blender, it just turns into this beautiful, smooth, red chili puree. And that's what I'm going to ladle over my burgers and my cheese, and I'm going to add salsa, and you'll see. We're going to make a magnificent meal. Now this is what the Chili Colorado, the red chili sauce, looks like after it's been cooked down and blended. And then at the very end, I added about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and about a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar, just to give it that little bit of sweet, richness, acidity, nice little balance. A little bit of salt and pepper, and if you want, you can add a bit of cayenne. You really want to bump up the, the spiciness. I've also made a, now a, 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 just a very simple salsa with some chopped tomato, some red onion, a little bit of lime juice, and some oil, some salt and pepper. Got some lettuce, some buns, and of course, the burgers and the cheese. So we're good to go. Got my grill set up for uh, pretty high heat. Um, I like to get a nice little bit of crust on the outside of the burgers. These have just been seasoned with some salt and pepper. That's it. Because there's so many other flavors going on. You don't need anything else. So we're going to let these cook over direct high heat for uh, about 8 to 10 minutes. So we'll turn them after about 4. When you slide that spatula underneath, you want it to glide very easily. If you feel any resistance, like something is still stuck, back away from the grill. Give it another 30 seconds, another minute. These should just come off very easily, just like that. Don't be alarmed by a little bit of flame. That's going to give you that charred flavor. And you know what? As soon as you put the lid on, you're going to knock out nearly all of that flame. Another three minutes or so, then I'll put the cheese on, and then it's time to eat.
It's go time. So the base of these cheeseburgers is a single half of the bun, toasted. A beautifully cooked cheesy burger, followed by this glorious red chili sauce. And then the last minute, add a little bit of lettuce to our salsa. Mix that together with the dressing. And that goes on top. It's almost as if you're eating healthy, but you're really not. You're just eating well. You know, so the next time you're thinking about having burgers, you know, ask yourself this. Is a burger enough? Or, or do you want to embellish the burger? Do you want to make it colorful? Do you want to make it spicy? Do you want to make a cheeseburger? Well then, make it Chili Colorado Cheeseburger.